Alright guys, so our end is broken. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we're not getting a dragon. So, hmm, how does one fix this problem? After doing some research on file structure, I resulted down to NBT editing. We are breaking some early rules, but I think it's necessary here. So the obvious thing to me is to move this up to Y60. So let's try that and see what happens. So if we save that there, let's see what happens here. Okay, so now if we go through, I'm a little worried, but see what happens here okay so that not isn't necessarily there right that's still there but that should be invalid right okay wait I actually don't know what the Y level of this thing is here 61 so um, it must have gotten mixed up here Hold on, let me eat this and then remove those. Okay. So maybe we can, I, I doubt there's something below here, right? Didn't just load a new one. No, it doesn't look like it. So maybe we move it up to like 70 or so. So let's see what happens there. I hate to say it, but I think, um, I think we need to delete our end. I really, ah, oh man, I don't want to do that though because we have the dragon, the pet dragon. Okay, so I have a theory. I've changed it to um, 0, 060. 0. So this block is where it's loaded on, this one right here. So I'm hoping that if we redo these, it'll actually work. It does! Ah, yes, okay. Well, we fixed our end. Okay. Um. <laughs> That's that's great news actually. I'm really happy about that because now we don't we, we can we can do have have fun good time. <laughs> Some of you guys might find this disappointing, but I skipped God Armor and the rest of 114 discontinued items because I just wasn't having fun in the world and I felt like I needed to move on to spark interest into the world again. So, yeah, we're in 115 now. Okay, so we have a working portal. We have everything that we've we wanted, um, which is awesome. Okay, so I want to explain the problem and why I encountered it because that's part of this series is kind of knowing why things happen. So first, we need to know how these were formed beforehand, and I'm not going to go into detail because there's just it, it would overcomplicate things. But essentially, if I if I do the basics it forms where the dragon dies and that's before 1.9 so any version up to 1.8 when you could summon the dragon and fight it it would the exit portal would be summoned where the dragon died so then in 1.9 that changed to be the opposite so it would form at any um any y value but it would always be at zero zero so when i updated i didn't fight the dragon so it didn't know if the dragon had died or not but since it said the dragon was was dead and had been killed a couple times it said okay i'm going to place the portal at zero zero right but since i had already had this portal here i had to generate this one by fighting the dragon um in a snapshot where you could do so so i made the creeper face out of clay which um if you don't know that i'll it's basically that's how you spawn the dragon for a little bit there before end crystals were introduced and this summoned here then somehow that portal became invalid and that's where i get lost and i think i need your guys's help i don't know where my world went wrong after that <laughs> but essentially it decided that the valid one was at negative one so we just had to change it in the level that and that's what we did in today's episode to fix the end and if any of you have this issue i know one person in the discord that i was talking to has a similar issue so hopefully this helps you out uh, unfortunately it requires mbt editing but i think for this it's kind of a worth it right because you get to keep your whole end um, dimension but you actually get a functional end so that's pretty cool so guys i'd like to redo our storage system this one is um 
finally like overflowing pretty much it's it's messy um i do kind of like the manual system for most of the stuff i, I do have the googler below which i think will keep just because it's nice to take a bunch of project boxes and put them in there and then search for what we need and then we can take whatever we need and put the excess into our manual storage system which is going to be going under the tree farm here so yeah this has the most space that i could find uh yeah down here we're gonna do it so we need to dig out a pretty big area um i'm we're gonna go down probably another three or four blocks before we dig it all out and we're gonna dig it all the way out All right guys, so I have worked on it a little bit here. This is essentially the room dug out and we started to put down this floor here. I'm not sure if I wanna do brick stairs or not. Uh, I'm still deciding on that, but I've started work on a floor pattern. I think this is pretty good maybe, but more importantly, we need to get some beehives because I want this place to be looking fabulous. So we need to adventure really far away because actually in the snapshot we're in uh, we cannot get beehives from just growing trees we can't farm them quite yet but we can we can fly to a galaxy far far away guys look I found one let's go oh get out of here zombie you're not cool Oh yeah, we got a beehive. All right, guys, so let's recreate some stuff here. Uh, we got a tree, we always need a tree, right? Is it becoming nighttime or daytime? Nighttime, and there's already phantoms. Hold on, all righty guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some leaded bees into a beehive. I've just realized we're gonna need a bunch of flowers, so one moment. All right, guys, so we're going to put the bee nest right here in its natural habitat, and we're going to put down a bunch of flowers, okay? Uh, and we're going to cover that hole up. Okay, uh, and then I think uh, we have to put a campfire underneath this bad boy. I don't know. Is there bees in there? I don't know. Is there? Is there not? I don't know. Let's try the other one. We have some bees, a baby bee, an adult bee, lots of bees. Okay, so now what we do is we just lead one of these guys. We're gonna do this one. And we're gonna stand right here. We're gonna let him do his thing. Ah, uh, hi, I did it. Okay, guys, we're done, we're done. Um, Let's see. That was a discontinued feature right there, is the bee with the lead going in will actually uh, go in with the lead tag, even though it dropped it. Uh, when he exits, the lead will drop again. So it's an interesting way to duplicate leads. Um, not that that's useful, but it's kind of cool. Uh, we're not going to keep it, though, just because it, you know, why would we do that? <laughs> we can't really display it as a block, and... And the F3 or the the more tooltips, it just says two tags, and it all almost always says two tags anyways. So I am not too concerned. There we go. Let's get let's get some more bees in here though. Uh oh, he's gonna hit the fire, Coolio. And then if we put some flowers down, anyways, if we destroy this, they're all gonna get angry at me. So. Uh, I gotta wait for them all to go in there and let's uh, put some flowers down for them to pollinate. Oh yeah. Oh, there it is, he came out and look, he has the lead on him. So uh, that's kinda cool, right? <laughs> uh, we're not gonna keep it. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys that because it's a discontinued feature. I thought it was pretty cool. But uh, as I said, it doesn't, it doesn't stay, so. Yep. Anyways, guys, uh, I updated to 19W36A since we don't need the bees anymore. But there's another side effect to updating here, and it's a pretty cool one. 
no fall damage. Yep, no fall damage, guys. That's pretty cool. And that is essentially because game rules were turned to false. Specifically, fall damage, uh, fire and lava damage, drowning damage, and phantoms. So, I mean, a pretty good patch if you ask me, right? <laughs> yeah, so um, I can take my helmet off here. And if we swim around with the fishies, we're not going to drown. There's, there's just no drowning happening. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting how that works. Um, I'm not going to keep it because, of course, it's a little cheaty and I don't like to play that cheaty. But I thought I'd show you guys. Um, so, yeah. And the lava damage doesn't actually take effect until uh, we update again. But, yeah, the only way to turn these off is through NBT editing. And I'm just going to do it because, uh, yeah. Anyways, as you can see, no fire damage here, which is pretty cool. And uh, the last one was phantoms, and yeah, no phantom spawn, which is awesome. So, yeah, that is pretty cool little fun thing to do. If you guys are ever interested, just update to this version, 19W36A. <laughs> so, I have actually been building back here. Um, slowly but surely, I've been building these up. These are potion brewers. This one's the only filled one. The rest of these are just freshly built, pretty much. And it brews potions. Um... You have this, 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 and your nether wart. So, and you start with the nether wart in here, of course. But, you know, you, you've programmed the thing. Um, and, yeah, we, we need to figure out a way to actually fill all these up all the time. They're easy to restock because, you know, you just look in here. And, yeah, but, of course, we need all sorts of resources to conquer all of this and there's one farm in particular that really interests me for that and that is a raid farm now looking at all the raid farm designs there's one that stands out to me like a lot it's the one that the chronos server did and it is absolutely insane okay so yeah we're gonna do that soon not today <laughs> gotcha but what we are gonna do is we're gonna build a little sign up there that says potion or something or may maybe we just build like a pixel art of a potion or something i don't know about you guys but that's like the best potion i've ever seen done <laughs> oh man <laughs> i don't know what i'm on but it's pretty good looking i guess i don't know <laughs> but it's part of the world now isn't it all right uh yeah mm Hmm. okay uh yeah that reminds me guys uh world tour is coming up because it's been a year almost since the last one. A long time since the last one. And that's just because I've been slack. But yeah, it's it's time again. Uh, if you have any suggestions for people to invite, let me know in the comment section. Um, but I was planning on just doing it by myself this time. But yeah, uh, we have a bunch of gunpowder here and other good stuff from the mob farm here. Um, which is awesome because, yeah, gunpowder is huge. Oh, there it is. Woohoo. Okay, so yeah, we're getting gunpowder all the time. So last episode, I talked to you guys, and we did this path, and I said we'd put it something up here next episode. So it is next episode now. So I got an idea for what to do. I want to do, like, a little lookout uh, section where, like, you can look over the, the place. So, yeah, to do that, it's not going to be too difficult to do. I just want to go get some planks. Specifically, I'd like to get um, some oak planks and spruce trapdoors. Yep, that'll do perfectly fine. Cool. All right, that's pretty much all I wanted to do. Um, yeah. But I said we build one, and I feel like this looks pretty good for what I wanted it to do. Uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, next episode, what I hope to do is get some actual bee nests um, going because that's going to be an interesting task because I really want to decorate our new storage room down here with bee nests. Uh, we're also going to have to go get some other resources. So, yeah, stay tuned for next episode. I'm pretty excited for it. Bye-bye. Um,